Hey everybody, today we're going to make a recipe called mojo picon. Mojo picon is a hot sauce from the Canary Islands that I think you're gonna love. Mojo means sauce and picon means hot. And it's uh, very similar to a, a Spanish Romesco sauce, which uses bread as a thickener. Uh, it's a very popular sauce, but mojo picon is like a nice hot version that is delicious with so many meals. So let me show you how to make it. All right, let's make some mojo picon, my friends. I got my dried chili peppers all set up here. And this recipe is normally made with palmera peppers, which are local to the Canary Islands. But realistically, you can make this with any pepper. Uh, they're hard to get outside of the Canary Islands. So I'm gonna use some Kashmiri chilies that I purchased. You're gonna have to remove the stems and we're gonna de-seed them. So I like to just kind of slice them open. Just kind of knock the seeds out. So these are milder chilies. The uh, mojo picon is hot, so we're gonna actually add some habaneros to really heat this up. So we're using two ounces by weight for the peppers, which is 57 grams. And uh, it's best to get a food scale for this. Um, you can see how many peppers we're using. But also, if the peppers bother your skin, you can wear gloves while handling the peppers and it'll keep the uh, oils from bothering you, burning your skin. All right, and the habaneros, this is gonna be the picon. The heat factor for us, make it nice and spicy. Got some good level of heat with the hobs. You can use super hots if you want to, make this really hot for you. See, look at how many seeds are left over from here. You kinda wanna remove these because they wind up floating around in the sauce, but you could leave them if you wanted to. Um, but you can see why I have seeds all over my house. Patty's always like, why are there seeds in the living room? All right, next we're gonna pour some very hot water into the bowl, cover the peppers. And we're gonna let them steep for uh, a good 15 to 20 minutes till the peppers are nicely softened up. So while my peppers are softening up, I have an interesting story. Uh, I actually learned about this sauce from a reader, a Chili Pepper Madness fan who lives in the Canary Islands. Uh, his name is Michael and uh, yo Michael. He was totally cool. He sent me uh, actually some Palmera peppers that allowed me to make uh, this from scratch. Um, but he also sent me some actual mojo sauces as mojo verde and a mojo rojo. Um, so it's really popular there. Uh, but they also sell these little packets that he sent to me of just the seasoning blends where you just add some oil and bread, thicken it up and it just makes it kind of instant sauces for you. Uh, I thought that was very cool, very cool. Um, but definitely love to make it from scratch. Uh, Michael actually told me that he loves to make his with super hot chilies. He grows super hots in the Canary Islands. And uh, I think that's gonna be like a very hot sauce. Oh yeah, look at that. Nicely softened up. So we'll go ahead and move them over to a food processor. Like so. All right, I'm gonna hold on to some of the soaking water. It still has nutrients in there that you can see. And uh, we can use it to thin our sauce later if we need to. But next I'm gonna add some garlic here. My recipe calls for four garlic cloves, but I'm gonna use a bunch because we like it garlicky here. Garlic is gorgeous garlic. And I have a slice of uh, lightly toasted bread. You can use stale bread for this, uh, but bread acts as a thickener, very much like a Spanish Romesco sauce, as I mentioned. And we're gonna go ahead and tear this up. Just get it all added into the food processor, like so. It's gonna make it nice and thick. And we have two teaspoons of paprika, a half teaspoon of freshly ground cumin, along with three tablespoons of red wine vinegar, and a bit of salt to taste. And now we'll go ahead and process it up. All right, let's take a look here. Yeah, you can see how it's a real nice thick paste. You can really process it a little bit more. Process a little bit more here. All right. So next we're gonna go ahead and add a quarter cup of olive oil. All right, let's take a look. Oh yeah, look at that. It's getting nice and creamy. I love using oil to make sauces very creamy. Nice thickness and body to it. So you can see how thick it is right now. It's very thick. So now we're gonna add a little bit of water to uh, thin it out a bit. This is where we use our reserved soaking water or you can use fresh water. Some people find the soaking water a little bit bitter, but uh, 
I think it's good. It's got a lot of nutrients in there still. All right. Oh, yes. Look at that. Seriously, nice and thick. This is exactly where I want it right now. So um, you can strain this if you need to uh, or add a little bit more water to thin it out as well. And even more oil would make it a little thinner, a little, little creamier. So uh, I love this stuff. So mojo picon is popularly served with Spanish tapas and small plates. Uh, it's great for many different types of dishes for spooning onto, um, but it's actually very popularly served with a dish called papas arrugadas or uh, the wrinkly potatoes, which is a very interesting name actually. Um, I love that recipe. I definitely want to do one uh, here on YouTube a video, uh, but I do have that recipe on the website and I can share a link to that. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm, seriously? Yum, you're gonna love this stuff. Mm, picante. Mojo picon, my friends. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think of the recipe in the comments below, and I'd love to hear how you're gonna serve yours. Hey, if you guys are looking for some more interesting sauces with big flavor, you gotta try my chipotle sauce. That one's just so delicious, and it's really easy to make. Um, but also try my chili garlic sauce. It's a lot like the Hui Fong brand, um, but it's a lot fresher flavor. Very delicious. That's one of my favorites. So, uh, all right, I'll see you in the kitchen next time. Mike from Chili Pepper Madness. Bye.